Mark Stoops last night, if you were scanning the Twitterverse around, oh, I guess it was 9.30 p.m., 10 p.m. or so, Central Time, so even later if you're on Eastern, Eastern Time, uh, had some things to say on a radio show. And essentially what was said, I'm paraphrasing here, is Mark Stoops said, if people are upset or people are discouraged or, or fans have issues with how we played against Georgia, that's their right. They're, they're more with, you know, they're very much so in bounds to, to be upset with us for how we played. But I would also tell them that they should pony up and, and, and give more. They need to put more into the program so we can get the caliber of players that Georgia has. And the verbiage he used, I think, was the things that kind of set people off. He said, Georgia bought a lot of really good players. And he kind of said it tongue in cheek, but he meant what he said from where I was standing. And he also said, I would encourage people to pony up. It's like, it's within the rules now. That's what has to happen. So what do we make of all this? Part of it landed a little bit weird, and we'll unpack why that is in just a second. But like, a lot of people are mad at Mark Stoops today for saying that. Like, I don't have an issue with the content of what he said. It's NIL. It's a reality. It's, a, it's now a part of the rules that you can operate within. Like, yes, Georgia, I would imagine... I don't know this to be true, so I'm kind of assuming here that Georgia has a more competitive NIL structure than Kentucky. Based on what Mark Stoops is saying, that's what he's implying. Georgia is being able to compete more in that space than Kentucky is. So if, if I'm a top recruit, I don't think NIL is the only thing, but I think it definitely has to be a factor when it comes to picking where I want to go to college. Just kind of the reality of what we're doing now in college sports. So what he's saying isn't incorrect, but the context and the way that he said it is what set people off. Because we forget now, Nick Saban said this exact same thing, but he said it in a closed forum. He said it in, I believe it was, uh, might've been a meeting with potential boosters or it was, it was an in-house meeting. Essentially, he didn't know he was on the air. Mark Stoops, I believe said this on like a radio broadcast. Like there's video circulating all over the internet today of Mark Stoops on the mic with a radio host saying this today. So it wasn't something where he was, you know, just kind of saying it behind closed doors to people that actually are going to give. He just broadcast it to everybody. And also, he said it after they got throttled by Georgia. Nick Saban said it in the offseason. So the way that Mark, the timing of this for Mark Stoops and for Kentucky, it looks a little bit sore loserish. I'm not saying that's the case. I'm saying that's how it looks and that's how it feels. Like, if you want to ask for money in the offseason and kind of rally the boosters behind closed doors or say, hey, you want us to win some national titles or bring home some SEC titles, let's get our NIL structure in place, that's fine. But to do it during the season, after you just got drubbed by Georgia, it ain't a good look. It ain't a good look. And I would also make sure we say this. Kids that commit to Georgia, they commit to Georgia. Probably a factor in every kid's recruitment is NIL, like we talked about. But kids commit to Georgia, for the most part, not because NIL is just creme de la creme. I think they commit to Georgia, if I had to guess, because of the way they get developed, the way that they have a chance to get drafted, and because of what Georgia does on the football field. And if you want to have NIL resources given to your program, you know what you got to get? Hardware. And this is not a dunk on Kentucky kind of segment right now. Kentucky has done a ton. Mark Stoops, I think is quietly one of the best coaches in college football. He deserves a ton of credit for what he's done. But to say that we need more resources, well, if I'm a booster at Kentucky, I'm saying, okay, well, I need more results. I'm not going to give to a team that's, that's not competing year in and year out for SEC titles. Now, Kentucky's been in that conversation, but it's a lot easier to give when you have some hardware. We all understand that. So I'm not saying what Mark Stoops is broadcasting is incorrect or unfair but the context the timing of it like if I'm a player in that locker room even let's take it a step further if I'm a player in that locker room and I hear my coach saying well we need better players I'm like screw this dude you think you think you need to get better NIL so you can have better players I'm not good enough for you like that that's something that I think would be difficult and I would not be surprised if we had a follow-up conversation or a follow-up message from coach Stoops kind of clarifying what he said I'm not saying it's 100% the case, but that's kind of the way that it felt to me. So timing, context, it's everything. The content, I don't have an issue with. The timing is what I have an issue with. And again, if you're able to develop guys at the level that Georgia is and put guys into the NFL at the level that Georgia is and you're able to win at the level that Georgia is, I would have to imagine there's more money coming your way. Just my own feel on things.
When it comes to Roback, they are one, bringing you the hard count. And you guys all know that I love Roback. I wear it all the time. If you, if you tune into my Instagram stories on Fridays when we're doing q and I'm always rocking some Roback. And I wear them all the time for a reason because they have the best polos on the market. They got the best dry fit shirts on the market. I say dry fit. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. They have the best moisture wicking shirts on the market. Uh, if you need a polo to last you the entire day on a hot game day, Roback is your answer. Now, they also... Got some performance crew necks that are going to take care of you and also you know, keep you comfortable and warm as we're getting into crispy season. Some great hoodies as well. Uh, the moisture wicking technology and four-way stretch makes it easy to move in while keeping you feeling fresh. Roback's everyday shorts are the perfect pairing as well. They're comfortable, have an elastic waistband, and great fabric that is made to stretch. Now, Roback has also been proudly leading the charge in NIL, having signed partnerships with college stars Cade Cl- Klubnik, Kyle McCord, Nick Singleton, Jalen Moto, and Audric Estime. They've also teamed up with legendary Coach O. And there's a lot of really good content on their socials, so go check out Roback. That's phenomenal stuff they're doing with Coach O. Use the code JD on Roback.com for a generous 20% off for all new customers. That's spelled R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. That's 20% off all performance polos, shorts, performance crewnecks, and more with code JD. So just in time now for this back half of the college football season, make sure you check them out at Roback.com. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.